Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your Unacademy Neat English channel. Well, this particular video is basically for all the Neat 2026 aspirants. You know, yesterday I posted a strategy video wherein I told you how to strategize your upcoming five months. I give you a complete plan for the upcoming five months, which you're going to follow to increase your marks when it comes to the Neat 2026 examination. That was something which I did in the yesterday session. Okay. After Posting that particular session, lot of students kept on asking me what should be the timetable which we are supposed to follow for the upcoming five months so that we can increase our marks, so that we can increase our ranks, so that we can shoot up our ranks when it comes to the NEET 2026 examination. And in this particular session, I'm going to address these three types of the students over here. I will be giving the timetable to those students who are just preparing from YouTube, number one. Number two, I'll be giving the timetable to those particular students who are currently the part of the offline coachings. Number three, I'll be giving the timetable to all those students who are basically the part of the online paid batches. So these three category of the students I'm going to address here in this particular session. But my dear students, before giving you the timetable for the NEET 2026 for the upcoming five months, just keep one thing in mind. It is the high time to get serious for your NEET preparation. My dear students, it is the high time to sit for 10 to 12 hours every single day if you really want your dream to be fulfilled. I'm telling you, if even if you are starting your preparation now also, does not matter. At least give your best for the upcoming five months so that there won't be any regret after writing the need examination. What if we studied this? What if we did that? What if we could sit for 10 to 12 hours every single day? Things would have been different, right? At least you should not have that particular regret after writing the NEET examination. So it is a high time to prepare in such a way that there should be no regret after the NEET 2026 examination. Okay, for that consistency, hard work is required. Now, those particular students who are basically preparing from YouTube or doing the self-study basically, okay. So these would be first of all those students I believe who would not have completed lot of syllabus till now, okay? I'm talking about those particular students who are preparing for from YouTube, right? And they have not completed lot of syllabus. They have just completed some 10, 20% or maybe lesser than that, right? Uh, when it comes to the NEET 2026 examination. What all things they have to keep in the mind? How they should strategize the things? My dear students, first of all, first of all, one thing should be in your mind all the time. From now onwards, what is that? One day, one complete chapter should be done. One day, one complete chapter should be done. This has to be in your mind. This has to be in your mind. And for that, what exactly you have to do? My dear students, understand if you are completing one single chapter on a single day, that means in six days, you are completing six chapters. So in upcoming 80 to 85 days, you'll be completing some 80, 85 chapters of your physics, chemistry, biology, right? I'm not telling you to look at all these chapters at once. I'm telling you to just follow the week one target first. Just make the week one plan. Just assign the six chapters which you are going to cover in week one. Then automatically you'll go to week two. Automatically you'll go to week three. Do not look at the entire syllabus at this particular point of time. No, just make the week one target. At least try to sit for 10 to 12 hours every single day in the week one. And trust me, when you follow the schedule for week one, automatically you will be getting the driving force to cover the week two target as well, to cover the week three target as well. And in eight, just 80 to 85 days, if you are sitting for 12, 14 hours every single day, my dear students, trust me on that. Trust me on the thing that you are going to achieve your target of the NEET 2026 examination. Now, what you have to do exactly? First of all, 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. These will be approximately some 10 hours. Okay. You will be following the sessions which we take on this particular channel live without keeping any sort of backlog. Because in the game of Needs 3.0, we are completing one chapter on a given day, that too, in the detailed manner with all the concepts, all the problem patterns. You would have seen it. And let me tell you on Saturday, I'm taking the chapter thermodynamics. Do not miss that at all. Saturday 5 p.m. I'll be starting that. Okay. So every single day there will be one chapter which will be covering on this particular channel. Okay. For example, today is physics, tomorrow is chemistry, day after tomorrow is zoology, then botany, then again physics, chemistry. So one day, one chapter we do in the game of need 3.0. So do not miss this particular series at any cost. Then your 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. it has to be your sleep time. I'm giving you six hours, that is more than sufficient. 
okay i know a lot of people will tell you to sleep for 8 hours 10 hours don't do that right i just, at this particular point of time i mean i have been sleeping uh, for almost like 4 to 5 hours from past 7 to 8 years nothing happened to me no health issues and stuff so nothing is going to happen to you as well so trust me on that okay so those people who are telling you to sleep for 9 hours 10 hours to stay healthy and all you are going to remain healthy also if you even sleep for like 5 6 hours also doesn't matter okay so keep this thing in mind 6 hours is enough right 5 to 6 hours is enough for your sleep then 9 am to 10 am 1 hour has to be for the breakfast and this is important right this is important what is that you have to exercise at least in the morning every single day okay that is going to keep you healthy and active all the time and apart from that my dear students from 10 am to 1 pm what you have to do whatever chapter you would have covered in the night whatever the chapter you would have covered in the night the next day from 10 am to 1 pm you are going to solve the dpp or elp whatever you have right of that particular chapter and if you do not have the dpp elp i keep on sharing those on my telegram wasim but chemistry official is the name of the telegram channel w a s s i m b h a t chemistry official is the name of the telegram channel wherein i keep on sharing these elps these dpps everything right so so from 10 am to 1 pm you will have to cover the dpps and elpp elps of those particular of that particular chapter you would have covered which you would have covered through game of neat 3.0 on youtube the last night then 1 pm to 2 pm is your lunch time then 2:30 to 4 pm has to be dedicated to ncrt reading of the same chapter you which you have covered last night through game of neat 3.0 this has to be the sequence which has to be followed for the upcoming 80 to 85 days my dear students and trust me trust me trust me you are going to kill it trust me on that number one the second category of the students are the ones who are basically preparing from the offline institutions right i believe if you are preparing from your off offline institutions that means you would be technically the droppers of need 2025 okay so by now your i think 70 to 80 percent of the syllabus would have got completed in your offline right one thing my dear students one thing one thing one thing you just have got like one or maximum two months left in your offline coachings right to complete the rest of the portion so what do you have to do in these one to two months first of all what has to be the schedule what has to be the schedule your wake up time should be 6 a.m right then 6 a.m to 7 a.m again breakfast okay 7 a.m to 8 30 should be for bio revision and i believe in your offline coachings your classes start from 9 a.m at least from 9 a.m to 2 p.m that should be dedicated to offline classes now 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 what you have to focus on you just have to focus on your offline classes my dear students you just have to focus on your offline classes so in your offline you'll be having at least one physics class one chemistry class or maybe two chemistry classes one zoology one botany every single day right whatever topics your teacher is teaching in the offline classes at home from 3 p.m onwards till 11 p.m what you have to do you have to do the revision of whatever topics were taught in the day revision of those whatever questions your teacher has solved in the class in the offline class right on that particular day you have to solve the same questions again right whatever questions you find from your dpps from your elp from the topics which your teacher has covered in the class you have to do those questions from your dpps from your elps right whatever questions whatever topics your teacher has touched in the offline classes on that particular day you have to uh, take out your ncrt and find the relevant questions of those particular topics and try to do those questions as well from your ncrt this has to be your schedule my dear students for the upcoming two months now there must be a lot of students among you who would still want to watch the youtube sessions I would say yes, watch the YouTube sessions, but if you are looking for the revision purpose, okay, and watch those YouTube sessions at 1.5x speed, at 2x speed for the revision purpose. Or if you think you have got some backlog of any chapter in your offline, you can cover that from our online game of need 3.0 series as well. Okay, just follow this for upcoming two months so that your syllabus gets completed. And once your syllabus gets completed, my dear students, by the month of January, I believe, right? then the rest of the three months should be completely dedicated for your revision completely dedicated for revision and the mock tests okay all right now the last category of the students are the ones who are basically the part of paid online batches now in your paid online batches on an average you'll be having some three classes every single day on an average it can be four also so i'm keeping the average three and lecture duration i believe would be not less than 1.5 hours so basically you are giving you are giving 4.5 hours out of 24 hours 
to your online lectures okay right now my dear students whatever time is remaining after these 4.5 hours since i do not know your online timing classes so i do i do not know the timing of your online classes that's why i did not write any time here I am just giving you the overview of the things which you are supposed to do. So if 4.5 to 5 hours or maybe 6 hours you are, given to, you are giving to online classes. That means 6 more hours should be given to the topics which your teacher has done in the class. Okay. Whatever questions your teacher has solved in the class, solve those same questions again in the remaining 6 hours. And whatever topics your teacher has covered in the class, right? try to find the questions of the relevant topics from your uh, NCRT and try solving them. Be it if it is your NCRT index or NCRT exercise questions. Okay. This should be done my dear students and I believe by the month of January your syllabus also will be, will be getting completed. And after January then comes the massive revision strategies. Okay. After January my dear students you will have to write minimum three mock tests a week. Minimum three mock tests a week. Then only you will be getting your syllabus covered, you'll be getting your syllabus revised three to four times before writing the NEET 2026 examination. Okay, so right now your focus would be only your online paid batches. Whatever topics, whatever chapters your teacher are covering in the online classes, in the live sessions, just follow them. Follow your teachers blindly from wherever you are studying. Okay, follow your teachers blindly. But make sure the quality teaching is provided. Okay, and at the same time, are you guys supposed to follow the YouTube series? Absolutely, you can also follow the YouTube series if you have got some, some backlogs. If there is some chapter which is weak in chemistry, if there is some chapter which is weak in physics, just try covering that particular chapter from Game of Leads 3.0. You can do that too. Okay, and more and more practice is needed from your DPPs, ELP, ELPs, whatever you'll be having, right? And I believe you guys are massively going to follow this particular strategy, this particular timetable for, I think I have discussed all the types of the students, right? And... One category of the students I did not touch here. Those are basically the ones who are right now in 12th standard and they'll be, uh, I mean, they'll be writing the exam or they would have written the board's examination. And after that, what do they have to do? I would highly recommend you to join some crash course batch, right? For you guys, crash course batch is must if you want to prepare for NEET 2026 examination, okay? So with this people, I'll be taking a leave, right? Try to follow all the things, whatever I've told you right? Just have one thing in mind that you have to study for 12 to 14 hours every single day from now on for the upcoming like uh, five months. And my dear students, I'm telling you, if you do that, if you sit for 12 to 14 hours every single day, every single day, which is not easy, but which is attainable as well, which can be achieved. I'm telling you, there are very high chances that you can improvise your scores when it comes to the NEED 2026 examination. Okay? So with this, I'll be taking a leave. You take care. God bless you all. If you will be having any sort of doubts, any sort of queries in your mind, now also do let me know in the comment section of the video. Till then, you take care. God bless you all. Bye-bye.